Did you know that the ocean's depth averages around 12,080 feet? That's nearly 15 times the height of the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. Let that sink in for a moment. Picture the towering Burj Khalifa reaching up to the sky, dwarfing everything around it. Now imagine stacking up 15 of these architectural marvels, one on top of another. That's roughly how deep the ocean is, on average. It's a depth that boggles the mind, isn't it? But that's just the average. The deepest part of the ocean, known as the Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench, plunges down an astonishing 36,070 feet. That's almost seven miles straight down. This is an environment so extreme it's difficult for us to even comprehend. It's a world where sunlight never reaches, where the pressure is a thousand times greater than at sea level, and where temperatures hover just above freezing. And yet, despite these harsh conditions, life thrives. But let's pull back a bit. The ocean isn't just deep, it's vast. It covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface. That's over 140 million square miles of water, a surface area greater than all the land masses on Earth combined. This oceanic expanse is not just a body of water, it's a world unto itself, a world that we are only just beginning to explore. It's a world of towering underwater mountains and deep sea trenches, of swirling currents and tranquil abysses, of vibrant coral reefs and ghostly shipwrecks. It's a world teeming with life, from the tiniest plankton to the largest creature that has ever lived, the blue whale. And yet, despite its vastness and depth, the ocean remains largely unexplored. We know more about the surface of the moon than we do about the depths of our own oceans. It's a tantalizing mystery, a realm of the unknown that beckons us to explore. But how much do we really know about what lies beneath these dark, mysterious waters? Just as we have layers in our atmosphere, the ocean also has its own layers, each with unique characteristics. Imagine peering into a vast, underwater world where sunlight dances on the surface and then fades into darkness as you plunge deeper. This is the ocean's first layer, the sunlit or epipelagic zone, extending from the surface to about 200 meters down. Here, the water is warm, light is abundant, and life is diverse. It's where you'll find most of the ocean's photosynthetic organisms and a kaleidoscope of marine life. Below the sunlit world lies the twilight or mesopelagic zone, stretching from 200 meters to around 1,000 meters. The sunlight here is faint, making it a dim, twilight world. The temperature drops significantly, and the pressure increases. Despite the harsh conditions, life still thrives here, with creatures like swordfish, squid, and certain species of whales calling it home. Now, we descend into the dark or bathypelagic zone, reaching from 1,000 to 4,000 meters deep. Here, in perpetual darkness, the pressure is immense and the temperatures hover just above freezing. It's a world of strange and wonderful creatures, adapted to survive in these extreme conditions. Further down, we find the abyssal or abyssopelagic zone, ranging from 4,000 to 6,000 meters. The name abyss comes from a Greek word meaning bottomless. The pressure here is crushing and the temperature is near freezing. Yet surprisingly, life persists in this alien landscape. Finally, we reach the ocean's deepest layer, the Hadal Zone, named after Hades, the ancient Greek god of the underworld. This zone begins at 6,000 meters and extends to the deepest parts of the ocean, such as the Mariana Trench. Here, in this pitch-black world, the pressure is a thousand times that at sea level, and the temperature hovers just above freezing. Life here is sparse, but incredibly resilient. As we go deeper, the conditions become more extreme and less hospitable to life as we know it. Yet every layer of the ocean, from the sunlit surface to the pitch-dark abyss, teems with life, revealing the remarkable adaptability of nature. Imagine carrying 50 jumbo jets on your shoulders. That's the kind of pressure you'd experience in the Mariana Trench, the deepest point in the ocean. Plunging into the depths of the ocean, we encounter a world that's very different from our own. Here, the pressure is an omnipresent force, a relentless oppressor that can crush the unprepared in an instant. With every meter we descend, the weight of the water above us increases, adding approximately one atmosphere of pressure for every 10 meters we go down. This pressure is so intense, it's over a thousand times greater than at sea level. Now, think about this. The human body is not designed to withstand such pressures. At these depths, the pressure is so immense that it can compress our bodies, squeezing our lungs and other air-filled spaces, and potentially causing serious harm or even death. It's like being squeezed in a giant, unseen vice. But it's not just us humans who struggle with these conditions. 
Most life forms on Earth would find it impossible to survive here. The extreme pressure, combined with the cold temperatures and lack of light, creates an environment that's hostile to most known forms of life. However, nature is full of surprises. Despite these seemingly insurmountable challenges, life exists even here, in the deep sea's pressure cooker. Creatures like the fang-toothed fish, the giant squid, and the Dumbo octopus have evolved incredible adaptations to survive in this high-pressure world. They've developed flexible bodies and often lack air-filled spaces that could be compressed under pressure. It's a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life, showing us that even in the harshest of conditions, life can find a way to thrive. It's a stark reminder of the incredible diversity and tenacity of life on our planet, and a humbling reflection of our own fragility in the face of nature's might. Yet even in these extreme conditions, life finds a way. Beyond a certain depth, sunlight cannot penetrate the ocean, plunging it into eternal darkness. This is where we find ourselves now, in the deep, dark, and freezing abyss of the ocean. It's a realm so far removed from our everyday experience that it might as well be another planet. Imagine a world where the sun never shines, where the blackness is so complete that it's like being wrapped in an endless inky cloak. This is the reality in the deep ocean, a place where sunlight's warming rays and illuminating glow are replaced by a chilling, perpetual night. The absence of light isn't just about darkness, though. It's about the cold. Without the sun's heat, temperatures here drop to just above freezing. You might think that life in such extreme conditions would be impossible, but the deep ocean isn't a barren wasteland, far from it. Life here has just had to adapt in extraordinary ways to survive. Creatures have evolved to withstand the freezing cold, the crushing pressure, and the utter darkness. They've become masters of a world that would seem utterly hostile to us. But let's not forget about the cold. It's not just chilly down here, it's downright freezing. With temperatures hovering around 2 degrees Celsius, it's a cold that seeps into your bones, that makes every movement an effort. But for the creatures of the deep, this is just another day at the office. They've evolved to not only survive in these temperatures, but to thrive. The deep ocean is a world of extremes. Extreme cold, extreme pressure, extreme darkness. But it's also a world of extreme resilience and adaptation. Life here is a testament to the incredible diversity and tenacity of life on Earth. Even in the harshest conditions, life finds a way. So next time you feel like complaining about a chilly day or a blackout, spare a thought for the creatures of the deep. They're living in a world that's in perpetual darkness and freezing cold, and yet, they're surviving. They're thriving. In this frigid darkness, survival is an extraordinary feat. And yet, life in the deep ocean isn't just surviving, it's flourishing. Despite the inhospitable conditions, the deep ocean is teeming with life, some of which can be quite dangerous. Just when you thought the ocean couldn't get any more fascinating, it introduces us to its residents, the ones that have mastered the art of survival in the harshest of conditions. Take the anglerfish, for example. This creature, straight out of a nightmare, prowls the abyss with a bioluminescent lure, attracting unsuspecting prey right into its monstrous jaws. But this isn't just any lure, it's a specialized spine that dangles in front of its head, glowing with light produced by bacteria that reside within. This clever adaptation allows the anglerfish to hunt effectively in the pitch-black depths. Then there's the giant squid, a creature of legend, often described in tales of sea monsters. With eyes the size of dinner plates and tentacles that can reach up to 33 feet, the giant squid is a formidable predator. It uses its two extra-long feeding tentacles to catch prey, and then pulls it towards its beak-like mouth. Despite its size, the giant squid remains elusive, with most of what we know coming from specimens washed ashore or caught by fishermen. These creatures, along with many others, have developed unique adaptations to survive in the deep ocean. They've evolved to withstand the extreme pressure, the freezing temperatures, and the lack of sunlight. Some use bioluminescence for communication or hunting, Others have developed special sensors to detect the faintest movements in the water, and others still have evolved to become virtually invisible. As we have seen, the ocean's depth is not just a measure of distance, but a testament to the resilience of life in the face of extreme conditions. The deep sea is a world of darkness and pressure, a world where life must innovate or perish. It's a world that reminds us of the incredible adaptability of the life forms on our planet and of the mysteries that still lie waiting to be discovered.